<laughs> Good morning. Uh, I am uh, State Senator Michael Skindo, uh, and uh, it's a pleasure to have all of you folks here uh, today at this uh, uh, press conference, uh, press briefing about Ohio's health care exchange legislation. Uh, I will be speaking about the, the effort here in the Senate, and uh, Representatives uh, Antonio and Carney will be speaking about the effort uh, in the House of Representatives. We will also uh, have uh, uh, one individual, Carrie, who is going to be speaking uh, about uh, how she uh, would be benefited uh, by an Ohio health care exchange. First, uh, I want to announce that on Tuesday this week, we introduced Senate Bill 277, uh, which uh, would establish Ohio's health care exchange under, under the Affordable Health Care Act. What is an exchange? An exchange basically is a marketplace where individuals and small businesses can purchase affordable private health care insurance. It creates an option for people to purchase health care insurance and it makes uh, insurance affordable. Uh, and irrespective of whether uh, we have uh, a federal affordable health care act or not, Ohio still needs to ensure it has a health care exchange uh, to create that marketplace. I will say that uh, Senate Bill 277 has its foundation in the work of uh, a uh, uh, council established by former Governor Ted Strickland, uh, which was the Health Care Coverage and Quality Council, and in particular the work of their Health Care Exchange Task Force. That task force last met in December of 2010 and has not met, met uh, since that period of time. That task force made one primary recommendation, is that Ohio should have its own health care exchange and not rely upon uh, a federally imposed health care exchange. In addition, uh, the Health Care uh, Exchange Task Force um, identified several principles that Ohio's exchange should uh, contain, and that is maintained in our legislation. Uh, Senate Bill 277, and uh, I don't believe the House yet has a number on it, but soon will, uh, the, the Companion House Bill, uh, is consumer driven. Uh, it creates competition in the insurance industry uh, to provide high quality and lower cost in purchasing health care. This legislature can no longer sit and watch idly as the director of the Department of Insurance does nothing to establish a state health care exchange. This legislation is an opportunity for us to create a competitive marketplace for all Ohioans to purchase affordable health care insurance from a variety of providers. I will call upon the leaders of both the Senate and the House to start holding hearings on this exchange immediately. We are under a deadline. We are to have, the states are to have their exchanges in place by the end of 2012. Uh, otherwise, uh, we may be forced to uh, accept a one-size-fit-all exchange imposed by the federal government. In addition, there are some benefits by moving rapidly and establishing an exchange. We have waited actually too long already. Uh, if we would move uh, more rapidly to uh, set up that exchange, the state of Ohio could qualify for grants and other assistance from the federal government uh, to help uh, get the exchange up and running, and in addition to help improve uh, our IT cost here in the state of Ohio. Uh, as a legislator, I've heard as far back as former Governor Bob Taft uh, that in uh, the health care arena uh, at the state level and Medicaid, uh, one of the areas that we need assistance with is IT, and it would uh, provide much more efficiency and cost control and uh, we would be eligible for grants to help provide uh, that IT assistance in establishing the exchange. Uh, at this time, uh, I would uh, recognize uh, State Representative John Carney. Uh, thank you, Senator Skindle. We appreciate your leadership in the Senate on this issue, and thank you all for being here today. Uh, in 20, 2010, the federal government passed the Accountable Care Act essentially requiring states to put in place 
uh, state-run exchanges. They can be done uh, in the form of a nonprofit organization. They can be done uh, in the form of a state agency. Uh, but essentially, the duty of setting up an exchange was given to the states to move forward with. Uh, here in Ohio, uh, the Department of Insurance started to move forward with consideration of creating that exchange, uh, hiring Milliman, hiring KPMG to provide uh, some initial analysis with respect to what the state uh, should consider when putting an exchange together and determining how much the exchange would cost and how to facilitate uh, enabling 11 million Ohioans to have access to the most robust option of health insurance uh, as well as hopefully making it as affordable as possible. Now, if a state sets up an exchange, it creates additional opportunities for small health insurance companies to participate within the exchange within the state. For example, Summa Health or All Care, a number of small health insurance companies in the state are best positioned to be able to provide and continue to offer their health insurance products to Ohio provided Ohio moves forward with a health exchange specifically for Ohioans. If Ohio doesn't move forward with the health exchange, the federal government determines that we haven't moved forward with uh, appropriate due diligence and haven't put ourselves in a position to create our own, our own exchange, the federal government will come in, establish an exchange for the state of Ohio, which will have most likely much more limited options for the 11 million Ohioans. Now, as many people will tell you, more options, more competition, that should help drive down costs. So you would assume that most actors here in the state, whether they be legislative actors or they be individuals uh, who are working in, in the administrative agencies or the governor, uh, would assume that having a state-run exchange with as many options as possible is certainly in the best interest of the people of the state of Ohio. In fact, uh, the Health Quality Council that was convened unanimously said that a state-run exchange was in our best interest, and in fact, this past summer, the governor indicated that Ohio would move forward with creating its own exchange. Uh, as recently as November, the middle of November, uh, I have requested that Director Taylor come and provide a progress report to the members of the General Assembly with respect to what progress had been made with establishing that exchange. As Senator Skindle has indicated, there are millions of dollars in grants that are available to states to establish their exchange so as to defer the cost to the local taxpayers on the state of Ohio, uh, putting us in a better position to establish an exchange that hopefully is robust and drives down costs for consumers. Unfortunately, uh, we have not heard directly back from the administration with respect to what progress has been made. Uh, the only information that has been provided are these initial reports, the Milliman study that I have talked about as well as the KPNG study that provide an, a broad-based assessment uh, that would give direction to the folks on the Department of Insurance or in the governor's office with respect to what direction we should move in. Uh, I am certainly encouraged by the fact that the governor has indicated that we will in fact move forward with our own state exchange and so we feel that by introducing this legislation, we are ready uh, and willing to work with the governor uh, as well as the Republicans both in the House and the Senate to establish an exchange that is in the best interest of 11 million Ohioans. We don't have time to waste though. Uh, from my perspective, it would appear that we have already wasted a fair amount of time. Uh, if we aren't at the position to provide a progress report, uh, there's concerns that we may not be in the position by the end of 12 to be in the position to get both federal grant dollars as well as to get the designation by the federal government to demonstrate that we are in fact on our way to setting up our own exchange. Therefore, with the introduction, the introduction of this legislation, we are going to invite a broad group of stakeholders to come together in interested party meetings to provide their insight with respect to this legislation, what they would like to see the exchange look like. Uh, we see this as a starting point, not an end point. And so we are ready to work in a bipartisan fashion uh, with the governor, with the Speaker of the Ohio House, and with the President of the Senate to determine how we can come to agreement on what's in the best interest of Ohioans. Uh, saying that, in the end, it's critical that you, the consumers in the state of Ohio, start to push your government leaders to in fact act upon this. It is your best interest that is at stake. 
If in fact we don't get those who you are paying tax dollars to to act on this issue, you are likely going to have less health insurance options and, and be required to pay higher premiums. Therefore, we encourage you to reach out to your elected leadership and encourage them to sit down in a bipartisan manner to come up with an exchange that is in your best interest. And in fact, myself, Senator Skindel, Representative Antonio, and the, the members of the General Assembly on the Democratic side are prepared to do just that.